Hey everyone, thank you for joining us this morning, or I don't know what time it is where you're joining us, but uh, it's morning here, so we're... If you're in the U.S., it's morning. <laughs> if you're in the U.S., it's morning. That's a good point. But, uh, you know, thanks for joining us. Whole latte love. My name's Brian. I'm Missy. Out here with Missy again, and to, for this one, we're unboxing an ECM C Manual 54 espresso grinder. It's a good one, and, uh, you know, we're going to unbox it, dial it in, get it set up, what you could expect if you got one and you're setting it up yourself. So I do want to mention real quick that this is an interactive presentation, and that's why we've got Ellie, not Missy, El <laughs> Ellie and Mark back there. Mark directing the show. Ellie is our moderator for this broadcast. And uh, Awesome. Why don't you Let's do, do the honors, Missy? Okay. I'm going to slice this open and get this going. So in the box, we have our bean hopper. Right. It's a 250 gram bean hopper, in case you're wondering. Which, Ooh. which for the size of this grinder is actually pretty large. Yeah, but it doesn't feel too big either. Right. Oh, there's our, our manual. Manual, which for don't, the manual. For the manual. <laughs> and then we've got our bean hopper lid. Right, I'll take that as well. I think we might have some other. There right. we go. And then our tray. All right, a little coffee tray. A little catch tray. Catch tray, is that what you call it? I That's fun. I think so. Okay, I'll let you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, let me reach in. a little bit taller. It. Just and a little bit. And that's all we got. Yeah. Get rid of that. Cool. But what a, what a cute little fella here. It is a cute one. Honestly, one of the smallest footprints of any of the grinders that I've used here. Mm -hmm. this, is this? There it is. There's the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It almost looked like it was shrink wrapped on it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Teamwork. Oh. And that's fresh out of the box. I can, there it is. Yeah, there we go. And we've got some power over here. So let's just power this right up. Okay. And then our on switch is yeah. located on the side here. This will turn it on. I'll wait to turn it on until we yeah. got the hopper yeah. in. Right. So let's pop the hopper on. I like to put it right in the, with the, that in the back, and that, yeah, and that okay. just goes right there to catch any grounds that might pop out. And then I'm going to turn the on switch on. We'll and it's, it, I, I do want to mention real quick, because she took the honors, but I absolutely love the on switch on this machine. It is big, you can't miss it, and it's got a great thwack when you flip it. Great thwack. So. Do we want to open the hopper stopper yet or no, add the beans in? I, I, you know, for dialing in a grinder fresh from the shop, what I always like to do before I even toss beans in it is to get the burrs to touch, especially if I'm dialing in for an espresso. Awesome. Uh, because I want to know what the absolute minimum is and then I just want to back it off just a little bit. Okay. So, you know, let's, the, to operate this grinder, it's quite simple. Like, all you really have is right here is you would touch this with your portafilter and it would grind. It seems like the power is out for some reason. I think. Or that's the other way. There oh, we go. There you go. You Too know, much thwacking. You know, you, you you can't stop thwacking once you start. So, and and so yeah. Back back again. All you would do is this touch this this bar with your portafilter to activate the little switch back there. Mm -hmm. And honestly, this, this grinder is incredibly quiet as well. It's another great feature of this, this grinder. And yeah. the, the build quality is really like, it's an ECM product and you can tell mm -hmm. just by looking at it because the seams are all immaculate. Mm -hmm. This whole housing is just one piece of metal. Yeah. And they've done an incredible job. And so... Yeah, and on the internals, it's basically just all motor. <laughs> so. Yeah, because it's so yeah. tiny. Yeah. It's so cute. It does have the little um, yeah. slots here on the back, too. Yeah, point those out, because that's... That'll keep I things kinda, nice and cool for you. Right, and I think and that it's I a nice And I really look. like the badge. Yeah. Very pretty. It matches your machine, which we've got out the uh, Mechanica Slim 6 uh, to pair with it, which also looks really great. I don't know how you're going to possibly get that, but, you know, the... The dial on the top here is, mm -hmm. is this red that matches the same red on the uh, valves. Yeah. And so, yeah, how you adjust the grind size on this is there's this little uh, tab right here. And you would push that down, and then you can freely rotate the ring. 
And so it is a stepped grinder technically because when you put it down, you, you would move it and then it would click back up when it gets to a setting that you could possibly use. And so yeah, let's get it. If you wouldn't mind, I'll ask you to okay. press that down and then I'll just adjust until we get to, to touch. And hopefully you'll be able to hear it. Oh wow, this was set very coarse. But there, there you kind of go. You can kind of hear the birds kind of kissing each other, as I like to say. Yeah, a little chirp. Yeah. And so I'm going to take that. You can stop grinding now. I'm just going to back it off maybe about that far. And let's see how that goes. Okay. So we've got our crema wave, of course. Lovely modern American take on a classic Italian coffee. I think is what Mark typically says. Uh, before we go any further, do we have any questions yet? Not, nothing yet? You know, it's still pretty early. I don't, I don't blame you. So let's just go ahead and get some grinding go going. So I'm going to open the bean hopper yep. stopper here. So a secret for mm -hmm. that is it's very, as you can see, the little, little thing is very tight. It's sometimes kind of hard to get your fingers on. I just lift off the hopper just a little bit so I can get my finger under it, and then I pull it. Yeah. And so there you go. That'll unleash that. Pro tip. Yeah, truly. All right. And so there you go. Um, we're going to, let's just scoot this over just a little. Further. Do you want a little, you got your cup? Yeah. I, I, I like to use a dosing cup when I'm dialing in. And obviously, you, you know, you don't need to use a scale, but when in the initial dial in, it's going to be really useful because then you're going to be able to remove that variable from mm -hmm. the equation so that you know that you're always getting the same dose every time. And yeah. of course, on this machine doesn't have a shot timer, so having a, a scale with a timer on it is also very useful yeah, as very well helpful. for dialing it. So let's just get some grounds out of this. And so when you first grind with a fresh brand new grinder, don't expect it to like shoot the, the beans out immediately. It's going to take a second for the beans to kind of move around in the grinding chamber and then they're going to come out. So like mm -hmm. the first couple grinds you're going to get are going to seem like really slow but it's really just because your grinder is getting used to being used. It's 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 a it's a new baby, you know. It's a new baby. You got you got to you got to learn. So yeah. let's just get some some ground going out of it. While you're doing that, I'm gonna grab a little uh, plate so we can actually take a look at the grind too. So yeah, I just want to get some grounds through that. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that from the top. Well, but uh, yeah, honestly, that's already looking like pretty decent for for ground espresso. Uh, so I'm it. just going to touch it real quick and and kind of get it in my fingers. This might give you a better view too. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. So yeah, do you want to just toss it in? Yeah. And then that's. Just so, so we can get a better view. Yeah, so you can sort of see it a little bit better with the white as the background. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's. Honestly, I'd be willing to try this already. Like this, I might have, I might have actually hit pay dirt on on my initial <laughs> just yeah. guess. Yeah, because the the texture looks like it's um, kind of like a powdery dirt, and right. that's visually what we're looking for. Right. If it looked more like sand and was coarser like sand, we'd want to go a little finer. Right. And if it was like powdered sugar, then my goodness, you're you're way too fine yeah, because you want really the water turkish. to get through it. Um, so yeah, you know what. I say we're gonna try it right now. Let's just go for it. Okay. So you wanna you wanna do it? You wanna grab the, the okay. porta filter and get get working on this? You got it. So um, we've got. Mm -hmm. Let's go for. Uh, I've got. You know, I I really like big shots, so I swapped out our basket on this for a 22 gram Barista Pro basket. So. Honestly, with the with the crema wave, I think that an 18 gram dose in a 22 gram basket is pretty good because it's Kay. a very fluffy coffee. Awesome. So yeah. I also like that the switch on this um, works well for bottomless porta filters as well. Right. So there's not going to be any sort of compatibility issues with that. It's a pretty and clever design. And it's really design. neat. Yeah. It comes out very neat. A lot of grinders are going to be kind of a messier messier dispersion of grounds so that's nice and neat right and i don't know how well you can hear that but it's very quiet like as as far as like grinders that we've done yeah it you can talk over it yeah it's not going to wake up your neighbors yeah like some other grinders <laughs> 
Yeah, and my biggest uh, thing that I kind of use to judge whether or not a grinder is quiet is whether it scares my cat away. Oh, and gosh. And this would not scare him away. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Romeo. Oh. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Romeo for sure. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. Here, here you Thank go. Thank you. Yeah. It looks like, yeah, we've got a nice shot of it there. We will see. Wouldn't this be incredible? I'll start the timer. It's a little late to start it, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, it yeah. looks like we're a little coarse because we're going a little fast. Yeah, it's definitely very fast. Right. Okay, so what would we do if it's going fast and it's coarse? Right. If... <laughs> well, you kind of answered it, but if it's if it's too coarse to 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 write it, you would set it finer. Set it finer. And so we we overshot what we were going for just a little bit. So I'm going to adjust it a little finer. And that's and this is pretty much dialing in. Uh, it's a lot of guessing and checking. You can't really tell a hundred percent until you pull the shot. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like developing film. Like you can take all the pictures you want, but you don't know how they look until you get the film developed. And the only thing we are adjusting with this shot is grind size. Right, because we want to isolate the variables that we're changing. Mm -hmm. Because if you change two things at once, then you're like, I don't know if it was the, the dose that I changed that made the difference or the grind size that made the difference. You want to isolate variables. Um, and so yeah. before, we go, before we dial in, do, is there any other questions? We do have one. Okay. Yeah, um, Erica wants to know if you can use this grinder for other brew methods. So, Erica... That's Great a question. wonderful question. Um, I would highly recommend this grinder only being for espresso. It yeah. is really only designed for espresso. Yeah. Um, it's got the portafilter fork and everything. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's just, it's not, you know, it's made by ECM and they make espresso equipment. And so is it true. is really designed for espresso. So yeah. I would say no. Um, uh, yeah. Unless maybe if you were only using it for one purpose, but like I wouldn't say it's a multi-purpose grinder for sure. Now we're going to adjust this finer. Keep in mind while you're adjusting finer, you want to run the grinder. Right. If you have bur beans on the burrs, always run the run the, the motor yeah. while you're adjusting. So, so I'm going to run the motor. You want to adjust it yeah, finer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's okay. do it. How many steps did we do? We did about one and a half on the dial. Okay. Because I think that's going to be all we need. And then what you need to do is you need to purge mm -hmm. all, the, all the grounds that were Maybe still in there out so that you're getting a fresh dose of the new grind size. Yeah, and so usually out. I like to do like an entire dose. So, so like 10, 20 grams of coffee out yeah. for your purge. Yeah, it uh, looks pretty good. So um, that's looking better now? Here we go, yeah. Okay. It's looking better. Yeah. I would say so. A little more, a little more powdery. A little more powdery. So yeah, let's go. Let's go it again. And I'm tearing out my portafilter, and then we're gonna do the same amount. So 18 grams again. If you weren't using a scale, you would just um, probably use a standard double shot basket. About 18. Those hold about 18 grams, and then kind of level it off. Right. With, with your finger. With your finger. No, so it's and then you'll have close to the right dose. Yeah. After you tamp, it's going to look a lot different. But. 20. So oh, let's get our, our little spoon. spoon. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And we don't have to worry so much about our countertop because we're the ones that are going to have to clean it up afterwards anyway. <laughs> so. And I'm going to give it just a little shake. And tamp. that's a good tamp. Thank you. Good form. So let's get let's get this. I you know I was looking at it and I'm almost nervous that we went too fine now. But let's let's see. Do we adjust it finer? Oh yeah, duh. Yeah. We adjusted it finer. Okay, nah, come on now. There we go. Yeah. Alrighty. So now you've set it the first drip, so it should start automatically. It should. Let's see. Looks like it's running slow running now. Running slow. Gosh darn it. Yeah, that's too fine. So, so ideally, we didn't really discuss it, but like you're going to want, if we're doing an 18 gram dose, you're going to want about 
twice that out in liquid espresso. So we're going for about 18 in, 36 out is, is the phrasing that people typically use for dialing an espresso. Mm -hmm. And we typically want that somewhere between 25 and 30 seconds is your window yeah. of like really good shots. But like, you know, you can, you can figure it out for yourself once you start dialing in that like, I like this coffee at, at this rate. I like this coffee at this rate. It's all about what you like. Um, and so it looks like we've gone too fine. So now we're going to have to coarsen up a little bit because we want to create less restriction in the basket from the espresso grounds. Yeah. So that the water will flow more freely through and thus be a faster shot. And, and we're going to make a slightly less uh, drastic adjustment. Right. So typically when you're dialing in, if you're making an adjustment, you might go a big step between right. where you were and then kind of close in right, on. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, and you know, we, we're, mm, let's you know, see. that's what we're doing. So. So let's Any other questions, Ellie? Well, well, before we grind again? Yeah. Um, Jayman would like to know what are the advantages of flat burrs over conical burrs and if he will ever need to replace the burrs in the grinder? You know, two great questions. Um, the, the benefit of, of a flat burr, especially when grinding for espresso, is that it's going to typically produce less fines and so that you're going to get Cool. Okay. Come on. <laughs> I was like <laughs> thinking of crouching down. <laughs> We've got a sink right over here, so it, it's 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 useful to be over there. Yeah. So, um, you know, you're going to create less fines, and that's going to typically create a cleaner cup of coffee. Like the more fines, the more extraction you're getting, and then it typically has a possibility of getting over extracted with with conical burrs. Uh, with flat burrs, less fines are produced. You get sort of like a nice bell curve right in the range that you're aiming at, whereas uh, uh, conical burrs sometimes get two bell curves because technically there's two cutting surfaces that are at, at play there. And so that, that's typically what will happen with that. I prefer, with, with, with espresso, I prefer flat burr grinders. For, for batch brews, like, I can go either way, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, this is a flat burr grinder, 54. S. Manuel 54. They put it right in the name of the, the grinder so that you know what the size of the burrs are. And age of burrs, uh, that was the second part of the question. Um, and so... Typically, with a steel burr, you're going to have a thousand pounds, I think is what we say. A thousand pounds of, of beans that you can throw through that before so you really I even need to consider it. Like, not, I'm not even saying a thousand pounds, switch them out. That's when you start needing to consider it. And you'll, you'll notice as the, the grinder gets older that it's going to maybe stop uh, grinding quite as well. Um, you're going to get slower grinding cycles mm -hmm. uh, and it's just going to kind of, and it's not because it's getting gummed up or anything. You can clean it as be best as you can, but it's if just you... Just blades dull over time. The yeah. blades dull over time. And you can replace the blades, or uh, the burrs rather, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If you put your fingers over them, the, your finger should catch on the teeth of the burr. And if it, they're not, then you're probably getting a little worn out and a mm -hmm. little, little soft. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, so we're going to go coarser now, but just a little bit. So we don't have to grind while we're doing that. Oh yeah, we're going coarser. Uh, but so we yeah. will want to purge. Yeah. So let's try that. Okay. So that was just one. I just kind of scooted it one number on that. Mm, purge out a little more. And then let's see what we're working with. I'm curious who gave me a thumbs down. I'm seeing up there. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let me see if this... Okay, this makes... Yeah. So, yeah, let, let's... It's looking a little bit redder, which I tend to like. Right. It's usually a good sign. Right. You can sort of see individual particles, but it's not, like, really going into my, my fingerprint quite as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would say that that... It's a worthwhile to no. give it another shot. Let's give it another shot, literally. And if you watched any of these, you know that I always like to taste my mistakes. And so let's see, which one was this one? This one was the really fast really one. Really fast so one. So this should be kind of zippy and sour. So sour. go ahead. <laughs> Very sour. I mean, not entirely unpleasant, honestly. Um, but uh, yeah. Yeah, when, um, when a shot is going fast basically the coffee is undercooked so it's going to taste sour mm -hmm. and right. it's going to run fast 
And right. then when it is, uh, when the shot is too slow, it's going to taste burnt and bitter because it's overcooked. Right. And dry, like, yeah. like a dry wine, if it's over extracted. But under extracted, you're going to get sour, you're going to get uh, thin. The body is going to be very thin. Yeah. So let's see. But honestly, I don't hate it. What we got. But I am going to get rid of it. Here. This thing has so many settings. Okay. Why don't we just do this? There you go. Now start. Lovely. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, wait Looking a minute. good. I think this one might be a winner. Yeah. And so you'll see as that's flowing, it's flowing at a much better rate than the previous two shots. And right now we're at 28 grams or almost. I'm gonna go for it. Yep, 27 seconds for that shot. That was great. Yeah. Do you wanna taste this one since you? You know what? I just had the other one. So like, let's, let's compare. Find out, right? Yeah. I like to, especially with the crema wave, I like to break up the crema a little bit because it really, I mean, I could just scoop crema out of this. Yeah. I know the, a lot of the pros who taste espresso shots are going to swirl it um, like he's doing. Right. Break up the crema a little bit. All, you don't want to just taste crema because then you'll get a bad representation of what the coffee tastes like, which is sometimes why you see, you know, uh, uh, coffee professionals use spoons. And, and slurp. Yeah. No, that's great. That's a, it's it's a balanced shot. So awesome. I I still taste a little bit of the the, the sourness that I got from the first one, mm -hmm. but it's you know diluted if if that makes sense by the the bitterness and the dryness of the the extraction that actually has occurred. So no, honestly, that's as far as crema wave goes, that's a good shot. Yeah, and um, when we are getting things dialed in, we have it in those basic ballpark parameters now, mm -hmm. and now we would just adjust things based on taste and preference. Right. Taste and preference, and honestly, once again, with a new grinder, you're going to still probably dial it in a little bit every morning. Um, you, it's, it's not going to stay exactly the same. Beans age every day. Mm -hmm. uh, the grinder is going to get more coating on the burrs every day, and it's going to grind differently every, every day. So it's, it's not a set and forget sort of thing, dialing in espresso. So yeah. it's, it's, not, it's... Yeah, and keep in mind in the winter, there's more static. Mm -hmm. um, so if you need to do a little, dub, uh, little RDT spray, right. or you can just um, run your finger under a faucet and give the beans a swirl, that right. works too. But honestly, um, not a lot of static created by this one at all, even, no. even at a... Even at a even in the winter tundras of Rochester, <laughs> New York. <laughs> no, for sure. I, I think the, the yeah. high is 30 today. So. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to take a moment here real quick to, to give you a shot here, if you could get in a little tighter there. I love uh, this about so this grinder. This little nose that I, I, I like to say it's a little nose, you can just pop that right off. And you can see the grid that is uh, sort of like the, the clump crusher, I guess you can say. And you can even get in there on a, on a daily basis if you wanted and kind of clean that out. Mm -hmm. And that would give you a fresh dose every time. Not a bad thing to do. If you're, if you're sitting at home saying, oh my gosh, the retention on this grinder. You know, this grinder wasn't designed to be a low retention grinder. Um, it, it is designed to have a full hopper worth of coffee in it all mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. And retention isn't as much of a deal when you're grinding a full hopper worth of coffee. If it was a single doser, sure, you don't want retention. But yeah. it's not that big of a deal. And a lot of espresso blends are going to come in more like two pound quantities mm -hmm. where you're going to throw it in the hopper and keep that same set. Exactly. Now, if you were changing the blend of bean, you would have to dial in again. Mm -hmm. um, if you're kind of purchasing the same blend, for example, if you're subscribing to that Crema Wave, um, then you're not going to have to dial in as much. Uh, but every time things still, here honestly. and there, but not quite as much. Right. Yeah. No. And uh, it, do we have any other questions, Ellie? No, not right now? That's fine. Uh, you know, and I want to mention real quick, you know, a, a question we get often, especially when we're doing the, the Gaja machines, I, I point over here like you can see what I'm, uh, what I'm seeing. But, yeah. Uh, is can it handle an oily bean because a lot of people drink a dark roast mm -hmm. oily bean and of course it can, yes, um, it can but it will get those those oils will transfer onto the burrs and so you're going to want to consider that uh, and, a, and a great product you can use there is is the the Ernex grinds 
yeah. that we got right here. Yeah, just uh, for your regular maintenance. These are going to be little um, coffee-shaped pellets in I here. I actually kind of love dry. that they, you know, they didn't they didn't have to do that, but I love that they kind of tried yeah. to make them look like little coffee beans. Yeah, they it's look like so little adorable. coffee beans. So you basically, it'll have instructions on here, but you'll put a cap full, a heaping cap full in there, run that through. Depending on your use, you can do that each time you change beans or once a month. Um, mm -hmm. It varies depending on your use. Right. And, and if you have a, an especially dark roast oily bean, you're going to want to maybe do that a little bit more. It does a great job of removing those oils from the burrs and it's going to keep the lifespan of that grinder going a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, just have an empty hopper, toss them in, f flush it out, and then probably take a little bit of your coffee and put it in afterwards because you're going to still see a little bit of that yeah, you kind of chase color. it with some maybe some beans that are right. running stale. Right. Yeah. Convenient that they, it comes out in this the same sort of color, this sort of yellowish white color. So like you you'll know tell. when it's coming out. Oh, I still got a little bit more in there. And I don't. I mean, it's not going to kill you if if, if it, you, you had a little bit safe, in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's uh, developed by Mal Koenig and is used in pretty much every cafe. Right. So. Yeah, it's it's a great product. Honestly, I use it on my grinders at home. Same. Uh, anything else, Ellie? I think we did everything. Honestly, this, this one ran, went really well. I love that we had uh, a fast shot, a slow shot, and a perfect shot. Yeah. It took three shots. I mean, and we did Goldilocks it. Goldilocks shot. Right. Not too bad. Not too that. bad at all. So I want to thank Ellie and Mark down there for the good job that you guys did. Thank you so much. And thanks for watching, honestly. This has been... This, this one went really well, and it feels good <laughs> when they go well. Yeah. Um, but, you know, please... Subscribe to the channel. Check check us out. We do a lot of these live streams, and then we have a lot of like pr you know mm -hmm. produced content that we do uh, machine reviews yeah. and stuff like that that are really fun too. We've also got the Coffee Cast um, on the website in the top banner. You can click on Coffee Cast and schedule a live demo. It'll be a Zoom call where we're here in the studio. We can demo grinders, machines. Just let us know in the notes what you'd like to check out. We'd be happy to show you those. Right. And then, yeah, we've got our website too. There's the support tab on the top right. Um, that'll have a ton of resources right. on all of our, you know, support library, coffee tips, all that jazz. And then, obviously, we got our descriptions below as well. Right. And, and I mean, I think we did a pretty good job of, of hitting all the, the specifications of this grinder. But, you know, if you go to the product page, you see absolutely every detail you would possibly want. Yeah, on any of the product pages, it'll say specs and you'll just click there and right. it'll show you yeah, that compiled great. list. But uh, thanks for joining me out here, Missy. Yeah. This was a good one. Thank you for having me. Thank, you know, I already thank them. But, uh, you know, thanks for, thanks for tuning in and uh, check back soon. I, we'll be back at one for another grinder uh, unboxing. So. Eureka Mania only, bra. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm teasing it like you can't just go to the link and see the, <laughs> what it is. I know. <laughs> but thank you so much and uh, check back soon for more of the best on everything coffee.